You mind stepping back? This charming little ship's been impounded and I'm afraid I can't let you near it till it's not. I'd surely love to, but that's just not my bailiwick. You'll want to have words with our representative here from the board, Mr. Udom Bedford. His office is on the promenade. Have yourself a pleasant day. I've seen you limping a bit. You all right, Mr. Vicar? Need us to slow down? What are you implying? I am perfectly fit. My uh, knee is just acting up. There's no shame in being older, Mr. Vicar. Don't worry. The captain and I will take care of you. I need neither your advice nor your pity, young lady. Contract for sublight. Only one, a legit haul. Smashed up a freighter out in the Charybdis belt. You ever stop to wonder how it got smashed up? Asking questions is a good way to forfeit my bonus. Some things ain't worth knowing. Going for a stroll around the docking base? Have either of the assault Hey there, Captain. Anything I can do for you? Be seeing you. Are you listening to me, Emperor? Please don't make a scene, Dr. Fenhill. I am not making a scene. I'm sorry. Am I causing a scene? See, Umfuru? We could have avoided all this unpleasantness if you just let me talk to Jesse in the first place. Let me get one thing straight. Jesse and I are not friends. I just owe her, okay? As for the rest, I'm trying to figure that out. All I know is that she's been here too long, and she's apparently not receiving visitors. You say that like it's weird. Like I said, Jessie did me a favor, and now I owe her one. I just don't like to leave a debt unpaid, that's all. Be my guest. If you know something I don't about dealing with hospital bureaucracy, I'll be impressed. Uh, hello. Uh, Junlei called up from engineering, said I should let you buy medical supplies from our stores. Now is there something I can help you with? A better selection than you'll find on the promenade deck, and a quality commensurate with a friend of the station. What seems to be the problem? If only my other patients had so many inquiring after them. I'll tell you what I've told the others. The records say Ms. Doyle checked herself in and requested I admit no visitors. The requests of our patients are paramount, so no, you may not see her. She's not my patient. I'm certain no one on my staff would falsify patient records. 
if that's what you're implying. Take care. Something I can help you with? Take care. Can't say I've seen you before. I take it you're a freighter, Captain? If you're here to better yourself, you'll have to wait. We're having a spot of trouble with our delivery service. Sure is. You need a deft hand to straighten a busted nose or sparkle up those not-so-pearly whites? I'm your gal. Of course, there's not much cosmetic improvement going on at the moment, not without my mechanicals. Where the law is, Irian, anyway? Sure. How do you think we keep this pile of junk in the sky? It costs bits, and a little prettying up brings in a fair few of them. Or it would, if I had my dang mechanicals. Did he now? The mouth on that man. I swear his late mother'd be ashamed. He must be referring to Erion. I'm sure the fool's gotten himself into another scrape. I'm beginning to wonder if I'm ever gonna get my service mechanicals at this rate. Our delivery man. A brave idiot with a penchant for getting himself delayed. Sometimes by dates, usually by bandits. Surgery, mostly. Medical personnel are difficult to come by on Groundbreaker. The board won't let their doctors and nurses station here, and they own all the medical schools. If we can't hire their people, we can't hire anyone. Everyone on staff here on Groundbreaker was trained by me or Idris. We're good, don't get me wrong. But we've only two heads between us, and we don't know everything. I'd be grateful if you'd spare the time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. Last he told me, he was taking a shortcut by Scylla, an asteroid in the Charybdis Cluster. That's where I'd start, were I the adventuring type. You look out, though. The place is probably crawling with outlaws. I still haven't found a good way to get the blood out from under my nails. Impressive, as always. You don't seem to like traveling with us much. Why in the Architect's name would you say that? It's just that you're real... grouchy. 
kind all the time? I'm not grouchy. I'm just... just... irritated by inane questions. Yeah, see, when you say it like that, it makes me wonder. As you were. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following show. Cosmo Finals are scheduled to air soon, but a scandal has rocked the league and thrown this pivotal game into question. Both teams have tested negative for performance enhancing stims, a toss ball first. Coaches and referees are debating how and if. This behavior could lead to an unfair advantage. This story brought to you by Halcyon News. All the news is fit to broadcast. If it's between the unreliable and the rest and go, I believe I'll sleep on the ship. How do you do? And uh, welcome to the rest and go. We used to be the go and rest, but folks never knew when to leave. Sorry. Business has been slow. Anything to occupy the time. Oh, you can't miss her. Right behind you, number two. First unit on the left, or second unit from the right, depending on which direction you count from. Fine, as long as the board keeps its grubby mitts to itself. Chief Tennyson holds the ship together, the promenade holds our economy together, and Sublight is the shoddy jewel in our rusty old crown. Our Chief Tennyson has an independent streak, same as her mother and grandmother who rode this ship on the crossing. There's a reason the board's embassy is a glorified shoebox. While Junlei Tennyson lives and breathes, Groundbreaker remains free. Our local garbage collectors. That Lilia Hagen never met a debris field she didn't like. She freely admits she planted her roots in Groundbreaker to escape board oversight. But I think there's more to it. She's unusual in the head, that one. Of course, most of our supplies come and go through merchants. Company ships and salvage runs are the only traffic we tend to get. I try and steer clear of that creepy fellow in the moon mask. If there's a cost to being a company man, he paid it in spades. Luck getting to Jesse, and better luck if you do. You're sure this is perfectly safe? I'd rather not die early of an infectious disease myself. 
Leave me in peace. You whole-headed quacks, do you know that restful recuperation requires not being disturbed, don't you? What? Why? Everything's fine. We're all fine here. No need for her to be worrying her pretty little head about me. I'm just terrible, dreadful sick is all. Got a cough that won't quit and sores all over my body. Highly, lethally contagious. But I'll be fine, so long as I'm left alone. Should've known she'd send a bruiser after me. Damned if I don't rue the day I saved her scrawny little hide. Inadvertently, I befriended a bloodhound in the process. All right, okay. We can discuss this like the level-headed folk that we are. Seems I've got to do something before Ellie goes jabbering my business to anyone with one ear and an intent to listen. The truth is, I'm not sick. But if you repeat what I'm about to tell you to anyone, I will deny it with my dying breath. You, uh, ain't with the board, are you? See, I owe them. A lot. I might have missed a payment or two, and the other night I swear someone was following me back to my room. So, I hold up here to lay low. Oh, laws. Wait, don't gut me and skin me yet. Please, talk to Bedford. Tell him I can pay, um, a part of it. And I'm a useful person to know. Just ask Ellie. Surely you wouldn't drag me before him. I'm dreadful contagious. I just know if I face him, I'm dead. What? No, I didn't do anything. I'm a law-abiding denizen of this ship, I swear. Think? No. I recognize a contracted killer when I see one, thank you. In my line of work, that's a skill you develop during week one, assuming you want to keep breathing. All right, I'll fess this part up too, if it means you'll help me. I'm a thief. I specialize in particularly high-end and historically valuable items. Three weeks back, I caught rumor that the Blood Tear Diamond, last worn by an heiress on the Lost Hope, had surfaced for the first time in 70 years. Udon was my buyer for when I'd acquired the diamond. He paid half up front to finance the operation. Let's just say things went sideways about the time I got my hands on the diamond, and it crumbled to stardust in my palm. Anywho, I barely made it out with my life and nary a plan to make back Udon's deposit I'd spent. Udon Bedford's the board guy on the station. He'd know how I stand with them. If you can square things for me, I'd owe you one even bigger than Ellie owes me. Thanks for helping me with the board. You're a real pal. Or I guess I should say, Ellie is one, huh? on Jesse? Good luck. The board's got an office on the promenade just before engineering. You can't miss it. Go back to Byzantium, you gold-plated bastards. Yeah, no one wants you on Groundbreaker. These stairs are board property. Disperse now, or I'll detain you for trespassing. Oh, real scary. You're really gonna arrest us on our station? Yeah, this is Chief June Lee's ship. You don't own shit here. Step back. I'm required by board bylaws to use excessive force. The Mardettes would space you for trying, you... you waste of O2 scrubbers. Yeah, O2 scrubbers. Look, just get out of here before I tell your captain what you've been getting up to on the clock. Ah, uh, whatever. We got a date at the Lost Hope anyway. Is this really what you want to be doing with your life, Marcy? 
guarding stairs for that walking mustache oot on fucking Bedford? I gotta get off this detail. Carry on. I'm just gonna hang in the back and try not to touch anything. You'd think the board and its agents would be more content sitting at the top of the system's food chain as they are. Auntie Cleo, because she remembers you. Ah, yes. Wheeler messaged me you were coming. You must be the captain of the Unreliable, a vessel that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. And you are not he. Has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? Oh no, this is terrible. My dear friend, what... Devilry is this? In whose miserable fever dream am I trapped? Oh, Alex. There were so many arguments we'd yet to have. He was my dearest friend. My only friend. You have his ship, you must know. That picture of us on the promenade, me hugging him, him wincing. I keep a copy beside my bed. Did he? Ah, that's just like him. Such a sentimental man. Tell me, how did he die? You're quite right, of course. Best not to pry into such dismal things. Right, right. You're going important places, I'm sure. Big, exciting, important places. <laughs> there, I've removed the flag from your ship. I'm terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, however, before you go, Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? Anything at all? You haven't read the posters? He's a terrorist, a thief, a madman. It's really in the colony's best interest that we stop him before he does further harm. Well, Alex knew, or he said he did. And you have his ship. Maybe he kept some records around, or a conveniently placed note on his bedside table. That's... Uh, well, that's just terrible news. Law, what am I going to do now? The board will have my head. Oh, I'm sorry. This is terribly unprofessional of me. Is there anything else I might help you with? It's personal business, I'm afraid. Uh, miserably, terribly personal. I don't intend to be. It's just a matter of trust. Information on the whereabouts of Phineas Wells would go a long way. It's... well, it's my white whale, I suppose. It's fine. Really, it's perfectly fine. I understand. Now, if you've nothing else, please see yourself out. I'd like to drown myself in work. Miss Doyle owes the board a significant sum. Alas, the only collateral she has is her organs. Compulsory donation is quite legal in such cases. That's not unreasonable. I guess it's better than losing your organs, but... I don't know, Captain. It just doesn't seem right. Miss Doyle is deeply in debt, and the board has every right to do whatever they like to recoup that debt. What guarantee do I have that she'll agree to the terms you negotiate? You might be surprised. But we'll proceed on the assumption she'll be reasonable. 
I will recall my collection agent. Tell Miss Doyle to report to me promptly for her first assignment. Now, is there anything else you need, or can I return to my work? Be my guest. You refer to the radiator issue? Oh, goodness, it was dreadful. I was sweating constantly. Chief Tennyson certainly did take her time resolving it. I owe you a debt, then. I was going through three, four shirts a day. Still, that Tennyson woman. Deplorable conduct. My superiors will be hearing about it. You can be certain of that. She did everything she could. It was your people's fault, not June Lay's. <laughs> My, aren't you... Hmm... Excitable. Oh, sweetie. I don't owe a grease-stained wrench jockey like her the time of day, let alone my deference. I'm sorry my temper got away from me. Please accept my sincerest apologies to you and your friend. Oh, I'm not used to folks saying sorry. Um, it's... it's not all right exactly, but I appreciate the apology, I guess? Well... Now that that's dealt with, was there anything else you wanted to discuss? I'm the certified representative of the board's interests here on the Groundbreaker. I'm their eyes, ears, and busy little hands. Better that than moving crates in the cargo bay. Oh, you've noticed my friends. Wonderful. Aren't their guns very large? Tremendously impressive. They're here to keep the peace, of course. Precisely. Groundbreaker makes much ado about its independent status and so resents any board presence, no matter how benign. When the alternative is board guards at their gates, yes, I do. They don't see it that way, of course, but I can't say I much care. A luxury stateroom, reserved for Chairman Rockwell's use. Oh, good law, of course not. He'd never set foot on this decrepit junk pile. As this office is the primary embassy for the board on Groundbreaker, corporate bylaws specifically state a room must be maintained for the chairman's exclusive use. Oh, good law! Who'd want to go to that toxic hell pit? No. Emphatically no. Unequivocally no. Immutably no. Best to be clear, I believe. Ask away. You caught me. What? Groundbreak. Wish I could say it was good to see you, Ellie. At least you finally got your chance to square our debt. That ought to make you smile for once, huh? Nothing makes me happier than being even. Except being right. That's nice, too. The good news came through the wireless. Looks like you paid my debt to Jesse. I guess that means I owe you now, right? Tell you what, I'm a little short on bits at the moment, but I'm a decent scrapper and a better than average sawbones. If you're looking for a medic, I can work my debt off.
If I'm being honest, and I prefer not to, I was about ready to pick up another contract anyway, and you settled this in a pretty tidy fashion, which tells me you're competent. But we can say I'm repaying the favor if you prefer that version. You won't be sorry, though it looks like you've got a full roster already. Time to play favorites, Captain. Welcome to the crew, Miss Ellie. We're real happy to have you. Got word from Udom, from the hitman who trailed me the other night. Seems I'm indentured to the board now. I ain't too elated about going exclusive, but it's better than winding up dead. You sure saved my skin, stranger. All debts between me and Ellie are cleared. Something on your mind? I'm a surgeon by training and a pirate by inclination. Not much else to know, Captain. I like long walks on the promenade and the smell of Spacer's Corona. I make a mean zero-G cocktail and I've got a meaner right hook. It's a mix of whatever you've got on hand. Usually zero-G brew with some Spectrum vodka if you're lucky, purple berry shake if you're not. I'll make you one sometime. If you don't enjoy it, I'll make a few more until you do. Sure do. Some of it was even legal. What gave it away? It's the hair, right? Or maybe the ammo belt? I had it custom made. Gotta advertise your business somehow. I've done all types of work with all kinds of crews. If there's one thing you ought to know about me, it's that I won't tell you your business. Your ship, your way. Not at all. I chose this life to make bits, not waves. Though if I can offer another perspective, Piracy's just trade the corporations don't have a hand in. Well, they're the ones who set the rules, so I guess you can't blame them for stacking the deck in their favor. But the rest of us have to get by somehow. Don't go getting the wrong idea. I don't have principles, I just don't like being told how to live my life. Let's move on to something lighter. All this talk of politics makes me tired and thirsty. Well, my blood type is AB positive. I'm a Leo and I despise space hospital. Never mind what anyone else tries to tell you. That about covers it. Aw, oh, come on, that stuff's boring. Look, the thing I've learned about living in close quarters is that you've got to give people room to breathe. I'm all for making a few bits together and having fun doing it, but let's keep a little professional distance. No complaints here. Something you need? <laughs> 